candy. My dad's Algerian, grew up in a shanty. National record, 16 victories, one defeat, one draw, and nine wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former Southern area and the reigning British and WBA Continental Light Heavyweight Champion fighting out of Crystal Palace, London, England, Craig Spider Richards. Richards. Enough. He wears the charcoal with maroon trim. He scaled 12 stones, 6 pounds, 2 ounces. His professional record, a perfect one. 17 fights, 17 victories, 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he makes his seventh defense of his world title. Fighting out of St. Petersburg, Russia, here is the reigning, defending, undefeated WBA light heavyweight champion of the world, Dimitri Bevo. Bevo. So how Costa taking charge of this one. There you can see so, the, but one thing I did hear him say is that they're going to try and keep it at range, try and work off the approach. So into the first, they're scheduled for 12, white Dimitri. and black. He is the challenger. Richard's boxing out of South. Get, starts getting some shots off. Richard's just looking to try and feint with the front foot there. And use that jab. Just throws the right hand. Jabs and then hooks off it. Been caught on the guard, but as I say, it serves a purpose. It makes Bivol think it occupies him. And it's got some decent snap to it too. Bivol again, just looking to... There's that lead hook though there from Bivol. You watch his front. Richards looked for a left hook to the body for the first time a few seconds ago, and just, just working with that jab. Doubles up on the jab and then looks for the right hand Bivol though with a good feet. Decent open of this for Craig Richards. Left to the body there from Bivol. Trying to pressure him, trying to force the action a little bit more, but we spoke about Richards with the feet and he's looking to hook off that jab. Let's see a bit more head movement maybe from Richards as well. He's a little bit upright. I see him just a little bit there, Richards, and Bivol is looking for that left now, that up jab. And that may be something that he's identified in that opening round. Nothing is wasted. Every second that you're in there, you're you're trying to assess weaknesses. That left hand in the early stages of round two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bivol throwing the feints there. You see Craig Richards trying to parry with the right hand. And then you watch Bivol or try and feint that jab. And then... To keep that jab going, to snap that jab out. But he, he threw a bit of a lazy jab there, and Bivol looked to come straight over the top. Really quick, too, otherwise Bivol will time it. Right hand over the top there again from Bivol, and he's just ratcheting it up in this second round match. <laughs> Double jab followed by the right hand. Never has caused too far away from the center of the ring, always looking to pivot around that front foot. Ten seconds, some examples of that, that left hand which he's found the target second with in the second round. round. round three. And that was the that was the most efficient punch for him at in that because Richards with that jab, with that height, with that reach, he, then you you control the fight and Bol is, is managing to, to get Richards to to box finish, but that was a nice right hand there from Richards, stepped in and, and threw that one, executed it really well. But Bivol just let his hands go, but Richards did well there. His defences were good, and then moved. Bivol jumped on him, tried to answer straight back. Good jab there from Bivol. <laughs> pulling in and out of range. Looking for that right hand as well, I think. That's the shot he's going to look for, to chuck that right hand over the jab. Clean fight here so far, Matt. That second round, I thought, was maybe slightly ominous, but he... But he... Very much a chess match going on in there, though. There's a lot of... Uh... <laughs> Good defense of the hook there from Richards. <laughs> On top of each other, just circling around each other in, in the center of the ring. You say, just looking to try and tease something out. And I think you're right, looking for that right hand. But Richards isn't the ball, just steps into the right hand. But as he pulls out there, record a left from Richards. That was a good left. Single shots, people can see them come in. He can time them. But when Richards puts his shots together, puts combinations to distance so well as, as Dimitri Bivol does. And there is some real snap on those shots when when he does Ooh, land to range, getting that little bit close with his feet. And even though Richard's the top. 
One two. And kind of reverse one two. He was a little bit buzzed, but Smithers has got very respectable power. Just giving the the alternative argument, the alternative theory, if you like. Bivol just body with it that time. Richard steps in, looks for the one two. Bivol rode it, then came back with the left hand. There's that quick jab from Bivol. It did land, but you see how quick it goes out and how quick it comes back. Yeah, I can hear Peter Sims shouting away. I mean, that was a lovely right hand there. Step, left hook, stepped in, right hands together. Bivol just looking to try and let his hands go. Right hand got through there. A bit more ambitious, but let's not forget what a massive step up this is as he just gets onto the inside, digs his toes. Hands go here now. He landed a couple of good shots there, good body shots, or a good right hand count there from Bivol, I suppose. That's the danger. Fake there from Richards, jab from Bivol. Richards just stepping in again. He managed to avoid. But he's just making Bivol back up a little bit here. He's making him give a little bit of ground. Right, he had a little flurry then and he just folded up. Yeah. Right, you've got to let your hands on him. Yeah. Don't, don't Peter Sims encouraged in the corner there. That right hand the conclusion of the round. Yeah, it was definitely a better round. That was a lovely right hand there. Jab left to right hand. And he was letting his hands go more. He was standing there, landed a few uppercuts here, okay. He's blocking those he more adventurous. He was letting his hands go more. He was taking chances. See him landing the shot there, lovely right hand counter. Just throw his way with but even if they have then it's still it's still not going to be going to be enough Bivol's way I thought he landed the better shots and more of them but I'm seeing it but I just um, I just feel that Craig Regis might regret just, just held his feet in range he got that right hand sort of closer daring Richards to to do something about it look for the left of the body there Richard there's a nice one too yes partially blocked but again he's being busy the right hand still got through the jab just moved the gloves and that allowed that right hand to actually get through clean it's hard to hit clean he takes a lot on the gloves just as he did there he's probably going to be the guy that's going to get the, the rubber to green it's it looks better again Nice one too, but of course, Bivol again blocking these shots, but he's, he's a lot busy now. Bivol though just exploding out of the shell there, looking to throw his own right hand, but Richard has been has been busy here, just slips for Richard. If he can finish it well, then, then this is definitely his. Yeah, this is a good round from Richard. Left of the body was a good looking shot there, just snuck it in round the back of the elbow. A 10 second clap before round 11, solid two, three punches there from Bivol. You can look at the the marking on the face there of Dimitri Bivol. He did do sometimes with the way that boxing is scored, you can be competitive in every single round. That's better from him there. Look at the double jab. We were speaking a couple of rounds ago about how this is he's ever operated out before and he's going to emerge from this with an awful lot of career for Dimitri Bivol in the way that he has. But on the flip side of that coin, should Bivol have shown us more tonight? That, that's exactly what I've been saying. He's competitive in the rounds, but he's not doing Some people think he's the best in the light heavyweight division. Good right hand there from him. Um, but, you know, shows you how, how much minutes. Jab there from Bivol and... And Richards again just slips that well and looks to try and get on top of him. Bivol trying to climb into that left hand. Richards coming back with a wide left hook. Left hand to the body there from Richards. Rounds, he's happy to stand and let them go. So into the final few seconds. Dimitri Bivol defending his WBA title. Craig Richards ranked at number five with the World Boxing Association. And there goes the bell at the end of the fight. And Richards obviously pleased with that performance at the, the end one that we have got. But Bivol throughout the course. Look He's still undefeated and still the WBA so light Dimitri heavyweight Bivol gets champion it. of the world. And still Dimitri were the two words that he wanted to hear Bivol. there. Richards looked 